Hey there, Doc. Dr. Scott Doherty from Cairo Launch coming to you today from Tallahassee, Florida. That is the uh, old historic state capitol building behind me. Uh, it's my understanding that's just a museum now and the actual capitol building is just behind it. We're about a mile up the road here from Florida State University for any of you college football fans, the 2013 national champions. That doesn't make me a fan of the Seminoles, just making a point. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, being magnetic in practice, so being attractive uh, to some degree. and kind of out here by the road, so I'm going to go find a, a quieter place before I give you today's message. All right, I got all settled into a little more uh, peaceful place over here. And I told you we're going to be talking about uh, being magnetic uh, here, but let me tell you a quick little story about how this topic came up before we actually talk about the message. Last night I was having dinner with my client here in Tallahassee, uh, and the server asked, you know, if we were from around here, and of course he is, but I said I was from out of town, and just asked if there's anything interesting I should know about the place. And, uh, this particular server had quite an affinity for magnets because uh, the first thing uh, he brought up was that this is the home of the National High Field Magnetic Laboratory, I believe is what it's called. I may have that wrong. You might Google it if you'd like. Uh, but was basically saying that it's the largest uh, magnetic laboratory in the world and also the most powerful. Uh, and to this point, I didn't have all that much interest. But then he mentioned that it, this laboratory has the ability to create a million times more magnetic forces than the Earth magnetic forces. And I kind of did some of that math, and, and uh, all of a sudden I was fascinated. I mean, a million times more magnetic forces in this one building I thought was pretty fascinating. Um, after he left, and we kind of chuckled a little bit about the importance of that, but I, I was still fascinated, I was talking to my client, and, and he's one of those docs that I, I end up working with quite a bit. Since I do so much work in capacity management, uh, I come up with docs who are kind of full and we're trying to find more ways to, to see more people, help more people, you know, offer services because really they have so much attraction to them. They are so magnetic that they have an abundance of new patients. I know it's a terrible problem to have, but really it, it's it's uh, a pretty common problem and it, it is a problem. Uh, you know, some docs who, who don't get enough new patients don't think of it that way, but it, it, in capacity management it is. If you have so many new patients coming and we're not taking good care of them, that's a different message for another day. Fact is, uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, like I said, just being attractive, being a magnet to people, and, and what kind of creates that? Because again, I see so much of it. So we started talking about common traits, and obviously this was one of those docs, so it was kind of fascinating uh, uh, bouncing ideas off of him. But we came up with five things, five things that really make doctors magnetic and attract patients to them, uh, which again, does end up running into its own problems of capacity management because you can't handle the flow that comes to you. Uh, but today I just want to talk about those five things. First thing we found uh, that was common amongst these, these magnetic doctors was that they believe in themselves. They just have a belief that they can win, you know, if it's some sort of competition, or that, that they'll do well in business. And uh, of all the things I'm going to talk about, that's probably the hardest. You know, a lot of people think that, that doctors are just naturally magnetic, but I'm going to tell you these traits can be learned. Uh, you know, we might be born with some sort of genetic window of, of magnetism, if you will, uh, but there's no question I've seen doctors that weren't born with it do very well in these qualities. Uh, and I see a lot of doctors that were born with it that don't use these qualities very well. So uh, there's definitely a window of opportunity there, and if you're not maximizing each of these five. Uh, but this is the toughest of the five. Um, that belief in yourself. You know, some people get in that pessimism mode and they get you know, thinking down on themselves and it's very tough to get out of it, but it is possible. Uh, it might be one of those situations where you need to fake it till you make it and, and definitely have that belief and move forward believing that. Uh, it might be a case where you need some sort of therapy or something, but that belief in yourself is imperative uh, to become that magnetic doctor. Um, again, just believing that you can win, it's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, obviously, whatever you believe is what you're going to end up with. So if you have the belief that you're going to do well, you're certainly going to, going to be more magnetic. Um, number two, these magnetic doctors let go of things. Uh, they become unmagnetic at times and let go of things in the past. We've all had a bunch of failures in the past. If we haven't, we're not trying hard enough. Uh, but those failures, magnetic doctors don't hold on to. They don't internalize them. Uh, they externalize them. They put them on you know, somewhere else and they study them and they learn from them and they use them as a stepping stone. Uh, I often told, you know, when I had great success in, with my seven chiropractic practices, I had a lot of associates uh, and they kind of you know, looked up to me to some degree as to what I had accomplished. But to me, it wasn't so much about the things I did to make those accomplishments. It was about the failures I had. I told them all, like, 
The only reason I am where I am and have had the success I had is because I failed more than you. I failed more than anyone, but I never held on to those things. I learned from them and I just kept on failing and I failed forward, if you will. Um, and I talk about that in my, my uh, you know, 14 Cairo launch uh, triggers that failing is a very important part of that. You need to go out and fail more. Uh, fail faster. <laughs> Just it, don't be afraid of those failures, but also you've got to let go of them. And that's the big tip about being magnetic is not holding on to those failures. Number three thing that I find with magnetic doctors is that they uh, have goals. And it's kind of funny because this particular doctor, and, and if he watches this video, he might uh, have given away one of his secrets. But I met with him this morning. Uh, I was supposed to be meeting with him and his staff. I told, said, tell the staff to you know, wait about 45 minutes. I just need to talk to you. The reason I did that because I wanted to get a better sense of what he was trying to create because I didn't really get that in my observation. And I sat down with him and I said, what are we doing here? What are your goals? And, and he didn't know. Uh, he, he honestly just looked at me and he's like, I'm not really sure. Uh, so again, he is very magnetic in the other things, but that was one thing that he has to work on uh, big, which we just fixed, by the way. But magnetic doctors have goals. They have a target. They have something they're, they're going towards. And, and when, you're, when you have that target, those things actually come back to you and you become, again, more magnetic. So having goals, having them clear, having them uh, specific, very concise and written down uh, is a very magnetic quality. And, and those of you who know me know that this, this time of year, I'm uh, making this video here in the middle of October, uh, Thanksgiving is when I always re recommend people really get their goals set down. It's best to start right now and always have those goals, but Thanksgiving is a good time to set them for the next year. Uh, so you have you know, 35, 40 days uh, for it to get in your mind before January. So start, if you're watching this video uh, when it's released, definitely uh, start thinking about those goals for November uh, and during Thanksgiving time, just a great time to feel gratitude and write them down. Another special message for a later day. And the fourth thing that these magnetic doctors have is they have a motivation for those goals. They have a why. They have a purpose of some sort. Uh, I feel like that purpose, you know, the goals without the purpose, they're okay, you know, and, and if your goals are simply, I want to make more money or I, I want to get a new car, those are okay. It's something that, that, that pulls you forward uh, and, again, makes you attractive. But having a why behind it, something personal to you, um, you know, whether it have to do with your, your wife or your kids or your family or your church or your beliefs or whatever it might be, having a why tied around that or just, you know, helping people, um, you know, the, the level that you want to help them to. Have that, that purpose, that motivation that helps you wake up in the morning and actually have some drive is a very attractive quality. Uh, and again, a lot of these magnetic doctors have that. Uh, and the fifth quality that uh, these magnetic doctors have it is probably my favorite uh, of the things that I talk about and probably the easiest for anybody to do uh, you know of the five qualities again some of them kind of have some natural born traits to them but this is the easiest so they take action uh, once they have everything in place they they take a step towards their goal every day and when you take a step towards your goal I always feel like your, your goal takes a step back towards you so they're taking action they don't wait necessarily for perfection uh, they don't have to have all their ducks in a row uh, in order to to move forward. They break a big project down into small steps and they take a small step every day. And, and that action, that process of taking action is a very attractive quality. Uh, so again, to go through them, uh, number one, they believe in themselves. Number two, they let go of, of things and failures from the past. Number three, clear, concise, written down goals. Number four, a motivation for those goals. Uh, and number five, taking action. Uh, those are the things that help you become a magnetic doctor, uh, will help you become attractive to new patients and, and, and opportunities, uh, and hopefully put you in that situation where you have a, a capacity issue that you can't handle all the volume you come to. Uh, and then, obviously, again, different set of problems that we need to work out, uh, but definitely a good set of problems to have. So uh, take a little inventory of yourself in those five areas. See if you can improve yourself in those five areas, uh, and I bet you can become more magnetic too. I get a lot of great feedback about uh, these on-location videos. People seem to like to know where I am, uh, liked me doing videos in front of uh, you know nice buildings and, and beaches and mountains. Uh, I certainly enjoy being down in Tallahassee in, in October. Uh, nice weather down here compared to Iowa, which I think is like 45 degrees right now. Uh, so I like traveling around. I enjoy doing these videos, but I would love for you to uh, give me some feedback as well. Leave some comments down in the comment section. Definitely like this video wherever you're watching it. Uh, subscribe if you're on my YouTube channel. Uh, help me out with some feedback. Help me out with uh, some places you'd like to see me go uh, and things you like about the videos or the messages and things you don't. I'd love to hear them and I look forward to talking to you soon.